Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how to give access to a particular site to a user and later on we will see if we want to remove that person from that site, how we can do it. So guys, let's go to our lab environment. Okay friends, so now we are on Microsoft 365 Admin Center and I have logged in with a global administrator account. So I will click on this navigation menu and here I will open SharePoint Admin Center. In the SharePoint Admin Center, I will click on active sites. So on active sites, previous video, we have created a site test. So now let's open these both the sites, site test and sites site. These are my two sites. So you can see this is my test site and this is a site with the name of site. Now in the test site, we have a document library and inside document library, we have some folders and files. Let's go back. Now there is one user whom I want to give access to this particular site and also to this site test. So how it is possible now to give the access to a particular user, I will click on this gear icon. I will click on site setting. And in site settings, we will click on site permissions. And now in site permissions, I will click on grant permissions. Here I will enter the name of the user whom I want to give access. So here I will enter the name Ritika. After entering the name, you can click on share. Okay, so you can see test shared with Ritika. So this particular site is now shared with Ritika. Now we will go to our second site site here. Also, I will give permission to Ritika. Same. We have to click on this gear icon. Then we can click on site settings on site settings. We can click on site permissions on site permissions. Again, I will click on grant permissions and here we will again type Ritika. You can see here it is listed now and now I will click on share. Okay, so this site is also shared with Ritika. Let me refresh it. Okay, let's see both of these sites are now shared with Ritika or not. I will go to SharePoint Admin Center. Here I will copy the URL of this particular site. And on another browser, I have logged in with the credentials of Ritika. Let's see if the user is able to access this site or not. Let me minimize this. Okay, so now we have logged in with the credentials of Ritika. You can see Ritika at the rate dot on Microsoft.com. Now here I will open new tab. Simply here I will enter the URL of particular site. And now if I will press enter, you can see Ritika is now able to access this site. Let's try to open site test. Let me again copy this URL. Let me paste it in the new tab. Here only I will change the name of the site to test. Now I will press and you can see Ritika is able to access both the sites. Now let's go back to our SharePoint admin center. Okay, friends. So now we are back to our SharePoint admin center and now we want Ritika not to access our both of these sites. So for that, what we can do is like we'll open the site. This is my site test and this is my site with the name of site. Now we are here unable to see Ritika because Ritika may be inside one of these groups. So how to remove her from this particular site? So for that, first of all, we can check the permissions of Ritika here. I will click on check permissions and here we will enter the name of Ritika. We'll click on it and we'll click on check now. So you can see Ritika has a edit and contribute permissions to the particular site test. Let me close it and in the site, if you'll we'll try to check the permissions of Ritika here, we'll enter her name, click, we'll click on it. And now we'll click on check now. So you can see here Ritika has added and limited access permissions to this particular site. Now let's see how we can restrict her to access the particular site test. So for that, we'll click on this gear icon here. We'll click on site settings. On site settings, we will open people and groups. 
After people and groups, you can see the URL. It's captechsharepoint.com site test. And this is the URL. And we have a membership group ID equals to four. Now we don't want Ritika to access anything inside the site, A1 folder file. We don't want to give her permission. So to block Ritika to access this site in the membership group ID, we will remove the group ID and here we have to simply add zero and now we'll press enter. Now it will give us the list of each and everyone who has a permission to access this site. So you can see now here Ritika name is there. We can simply check the box and now we can click on actions and now we can delete user from the site collection. You will get a prompt message like are you about to delete the following user from the site collection? The user will be deleted and will not have the access to any site within the site collection. Are you sure? We'll click on OK. So you can see Ritika is now removed from this particular site. And now let's go back and check if Ritika is able to access the site test or not. We haven't removed Ritika from the site with the name of site. Now let's go back to Ritika's profile. Okay, so we haven't loaded this particular site. So first of all, we'll try to load site with the name of site. Let me refresh it. You can see Ritika is still able to access this site. And now let's try to reload the site test. And we have removed Ritika to access this particular site. Let me refresh it. You can see we got a message like access required. Because we have removed Ritika from that particular site, now she no more has access to this particular site, but still she is able to access the site with the name of site. You can see I have again reloaded. She is able to access this. Now let's also remove her from this particular site. Let's go back to admin center. Okay, so now we'll go to our site site. Here we'll click on this gear icon. We'll click on site settings. We'll again click on pe people and groups. Okay. So now we are on people and groups here again in the membership group ID. There is mentioned eight. We will remove it. We'll type zero. Now we'll press enter. And here you can find Ritika. Ritika is here. We'll check the box. We'll click on action and let's again delete user Ritika from this site. Now let's go back to Ritika profile again. Okay. So this is the site with the name of site. Let me refresh this page and here you can again see the Ritika need access to this particular site. She is getting this message. Now let's see if user is getting this permission, how we, how she can request access for that particular site. So here Ritika will type a message like, hi admin, please give me access to this site. Okay. Now she has written the message. Now she will click on request access. Okay, so she will get a message like awaiting approval and will let you know about any updates. So let me here also type the same message. Okay, now we will again request access. Click on request access. Okay, so she get a message like awaiting approval. We'll minimize this. We'll close both of these sites setting now. Okay, now we want to give access to Ritika for those particular sites. So how we can do that? We will open these site once again. Let me open both of them in new tab. Okay. First of all, let's try to give her access. We'll click on this gear icon. We'll click on site settings again. And here we got a link like access request and invitations. We will open this. And here you can see the message like pending request. And if I will click on this three dots, you can see permission needed for site here we can modify like what permission you want to give to Ritika like it could be any permission edit full control read contribute design full control and you can also give view only permission so let it be added permission by default you can here type your message hi Ritika welcome to this site okay after entering the message you can see requested by name request for this site requested on you will get a time and status is pending and this is the message which Ritika has written and now we will click on approve okay so you can see there is no pending request in the test site 
we'll again click on this gear icon we'll click on site settings we'll click on access request invitations here you can see Ritika has also requested for this site approval we'll click on approve okay so there is no pending request now let's go back and let's see if Ritika is able to access both of these sites or not okay friends so now we are on Ritika's profile you can see Ritika at the red cap tech dot on Microsoft dot com I will open new tab here again I will try to access the site with the name of site I will press enter and as Ritika has requested for this site you can see now she has access to this site let's see for the site with the name of test I will again enter the same URL here I will only enter the site name test I will press enter and you can see now she has access to both of the site which earlier she was not having so friend that's how we give access to a user on a particular site and and how user can request access for a site to access in our next upcoming videos we'll discuss about the unique permissions and how to stop inheriting permissions so let's meet in our next video for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.